Hi folks, in previous tutorial you have learned how it's possible to apply the COM feature and how it's possible to apply the automatic placement or selected planar surface or COM feature definite by curves. So please previous tutorial and in this tutorial I'd like to follow and continue and we will apply the spring feature for COM connection. If you would like to specify the spring select application and mechanism and in mechanism select spring feature if you will select the spring feature the system asks you directly on the bottom that is necessary specify two points and between these two selected points system will automatically create and show you the spring as the feature what we need necessary to do is specify k factor so for example 30 or for example something stronger 40 and as the U factor, we will use number 30. Right now you can see that diameter is the same, so in the option tab I'd like to change the diameter of the spring and I will specify for example 15. If I will confirm OK, the first spring is definite and we can use the same on the second side, so in the spring feature again is necessary select two points with the control button and option tab please adjust and change the diameter for example 15 and we can reuse the previous numbers from the drop down menu i will come from ok everything is ready and if you would like to analyze create the new analyze feature yeah but don't forget to specify the servo motor so first of all yes sorry i forgot to specify the servo motor so what we would like to do is we would like to spin this shaft and if you will select the shaft the system will automatically select rotation axis and in the profile details you can specify that you would like to use the angular velocity and specify the, the angle for example i'd like to spin it in 120 degree per second and if i will confirm enter is possible to apply ok and as the new analyze feature We'll specify that we would like to spin, for example, 6 seconds and frame rate will be 30. What does it mean? The shaft will be spin at 2 times. And if I will run, everything is working as we need. And if you come from OK, what is really nice that you can specify the custom playback. I don't want to see the display time. And if I will select double arrow, the system allowed to me to specify frame, animate, and I can see how the animation looks like. Right now the system calculates step by step everything. And if I will select the capture, in the capture is possible to save the object, for example, as the AV file, and you can use the frames as the render it. So if you have a license for the rendering, you can create really, really nice animation video. I hope so that you like this video and share it with your friends and like or buy me a coffee as a donation. Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.